the first presentation post number 45 the morbidities among the late postpartum mother and associated factors the authors are Diran Roll ND and Arame Policy the presenting author Diran Roll ND good afternoon everyone I would like to begin by thanking SLMA for the opportunity given as mentioned my poster is titled morbidities among the late postpartum mother and associated factors so we all know that usually and especially in Sri Lanka mothers are usually the primary caretakers of the family and in essence they need to be physically and psychologically free of morbidities to func function optimally especially in the care of the family but when we consider the postpartum period at present there is a routine assessment at four weeks postpartum and subsequently a some, some degree of monitoring which takes place until six months postpartum. But following this, there is little to no attention in the late postpartum period for the postpartum mother. So the objective of my study was to assess the physical and psychological morbidities during the late postpartum period and the associated factors among the mothers, particularly in Kalutri district. My study design was a cross-sectional study and the setting was polyclinics of Horana and Panadura Medical Officer of Health Areas. The study population was 380 postpartum mothers at 6 to 12 months postpartum following a low-risk pregnancy and a low-risk childbirth. And the sampling method was systematic sampling and I used an interviewer administered questionnaire. When considering the results, uh, majority were Sinhalese aged between 21 to 30 years and they were mainly unemployed. When we consider the, comorb the morbidities, 77.6% claim to have at least one or more of the morbidities that we uh, question from them and 11.1% were identified to have postpartum, uh, late postpartum depression which was identified using the Edinburgh Postnatal Depression Scale. When, uh, when considering the most common physical morbidities, it was identified that chronic lower back pain was the commonest, followed by lack of sexual desire and painful intercourse. Then when considering the associations with these morbidities, cesarean section in particular was associated with chronic back pain, constipation and lack of sexual desire, and employment was associated with hemorrhoids and dysuria. Postpartum depression per se was significantly associated with uh, poor social support which was assessed using a scale called the maternal social support scale. In addition, postpartum depression was also found to be associated with poor income, increased number of dependents and increased number of work hours. So in conclusion, we identified that the prevalence of morbidities was substantial in the late postpartum period and mainly associated with poor social support, cesarean delivery and being employed. And as a recommendation, we hope that there would be some or increased monitoring uh, put in place in the late postpartum period from 6 to 12 months. Thank you. Thank you. The paper is open for discussion. Yeah. Thank you. It's again, a very important community study. Our how do you measure the associations? What we was the test that you have used? We use chi-square test. Chi-square, the differences. Then the, the relationship between the depression and the social support, was it through correlation or was it through uh, the chi-square? It was through chi-square. So we use the maternal social support scale, uh -huh. which actually has five components. That is uh, support from uh, the partner, support from family, support from friends, feeling controlled by the partner and feeling affection from the partner. So based on the score we obtained from that, we categorized the uh, groups and then used chi-square. Uh -huh. Yeah, there was a score also given, yes, no? so yes. both, both scales a score was given. Yes. This, uh, you have suggested that, uh, I mean, the study seems to have found that there is an association with being employed. What does that really mean? Well, sir, we can't really make a proper uh, uh, idea here because most of them were unemployed. So there was only a f very uh, short, small number of people who were employed in the uh, uh, sample we took. But there was a, a statistically significant association with being employed and uh, having hemorrhoids and dysuria, as in the numbers mm -hmm. when we applied chi-square. But so of course, to actually come to a conclusion, it could have been uh, useful to know like what type of employments are they 
involved in that. Yes, um, unfortunately, yeah. I don't it have that Okay. Thank you. Thank right. you. Let's give a round of applause to the presenter.